Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Return of the Oberdin tonight. <clears throat> we started this early last week, and then some stuff happened in the middle of the week that meant I couldn't go back to it. <clears throat> Until now, but here we are. Here we are. So we are going to do our insurance adjusterly duties and find out how people died. Uh, we've got six fates solved so far out of a total, I want to say, 60. Um... But we've got, we've got lots to do, it seems. So, uh, where did we end up? We ended up, um... Let's see, where the hell are we? Like, at what point are we here? Uh, I have no idea what section of the game this is. It's been... Oh, right, because they were trying to get to the lifeboats or something. He's like, ah, let me on. He's like, no, man, you let my other dude die. And he's like, no, man, that was the ropes that did it. He's like, ah, oh, fuck you. And he beat him in the face with a club or something, right? Um, so let's see, uh, this guy here, right? Well, you apparently know enough about him to positively ID him, but I'm not so sure. Uh, let's see, is it the, were we on the Moiter chapter? No. I mean, we know, we know which person shot this guy, right? We just don't know who that person is exactly. And then, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, that was something different altogether. Uh, which section of the game are we even in? You know what? All right, let's let's back the fuck out of this memory and and see where we're at. So I think we're just gonna get turned around from last time. <sighs> oh right, that was chapter seven. Okay. Jeez, a lot happened in Chapter 7. What was that? Double digits? Double digits of shit that happened? <clears throat> Disappearances. Helmsman meant an unknown fate. I don't know who the heck that guy is. Well, I should know who these people are, right? Okay, so we know the Helmsman, alright? He was the one at the wheel. Easy peasy. Um, but I have no idea, like, what the heck else happened here. So, whatever. Let's just, just go with it. Go with it and make it happen. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Let's see it. Um, so, alright, so we investimacted this a little bit. Okay, so he, alright, alright. So here's, oh right, because he was like, oh, this your, your, your older brother or something, right? Let's see here. <clears throat> You bloody Dane. Okay, so we got the... I think we identified this dude through his nationality, right? No cause for trouble getting the ball. I thought I'd forget you killed my brother. And then the dude whose brother he killed was somebody else, yeah? Uh, right, because we were looking for brothers last time, and we identified brothers, but we couldn't tell which was which. Because I think it was... It was, what, Peters, right? Maybe not. Yeah, Samuel Peters and Nathan Peters, I think, were the, were the two brothers. And then we identified the, uh, the Dane here from Denmark, of course. Um, and then we... Uh, it's either Nathan or Samuel that clubbed him into uh, non-existence there, so... Hmm... So, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Well, let's have a let's have a, a look around here. Um, I th think. Right. Okay. So we got him. Right. So he was stabbed by the second mate, Edward Nichols, a little piece of shit. And then this was one of the Formosan guards, I think. Right. <clears throat> yeah. And he was shot with a gun. Uh, can I look at that? Okay, yeah, it does let me go back to the actual, uh, memory of the thing. Hok Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Which is horseshit, we know, right? It's horseshit. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company... Yeah, okay, we know that. We just need to find... I sentence you to death by firing line. Who was the only one that could hit a stationary target at what looks like, you know, maybe six feet? 
<laughs> All right, that one. Uh, this one here. Oh wait, don't we know this dipshit? We sort of know this dipshit. We should know this dipshit. His face is all clear and shit, so we can't ID him. But we just don't know who exactly it is. Cause look at these fucking other shots. Like, total whiffs. Total fucking whiffs. Just amazing. Just amazing to me. Like, how can you be so bad at your job? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, we know it was this dude. Whoever it, uh, happens to be. But, um... We don't know who that is, though. Do we? Do we know who that is? But, like, I mean, musket or not, that is six feet at best. Okay, maybe seven feet. And that's not really a small target. And it looks like they're trying to aim. Well... Actually, this guy looks like he's the only dude who's actually trying to aim. These dudes are just like, yeah, let's fire from the shoulder and hope that we hit him. Like, this guy could have hit him, but he maybe just, like, grazed his thigh or something. And then this guy is just like, oh, fuck it, crossfire. You'll get caught up in the... Oh, sorry. Um, people got murdered here. We should treat it with the solemnity it deserves. Uh, alright, so do we know enough about that fucker to ID him, though? Uh, is this guy right here? <clears throat> right, he got stabbed by the captain, so... That's good, that's good. Oh, uh, drink presentation. Yes, yes, of course. So, so tonight I want a little special. <laughs> and it doesn't look all that special. It looks like a normal aspects drink, and it is. It's, um, 80 proof vodka with some cola and a generous portion of rocks, but also enhanced by a 151 proof neutral grain spirit um which normally i would associate with you know 151 proof rum but it, it literally isn't called a rum it's just a neutral grain spirit very tasty very tasty mm. Mm, quite tasty so cheers so cheers 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 um all right so who the fuck is this guy it says it's one triangle it should be easy to do um, but I don't know. I don't know. Do we, like, we have... Alright, let's see. Memories. Bookmark all dim memories. First one we have... Oh, he was on... The, okay, so the first one we have of him is him shooting this dude. <clears throat> alright, 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 alright. Mm, what else do we have of this dude? He's on the bow of chapter 7. Oh, he was present while this dude was, ugh, at a ter- well, he was sort of present, I guess, right? So, that's no help. Uh, he was also on the very next- wow, he was around for a lot of them, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, he was around for a lot of them. Okay, next. And then this dude lost his face from a cannon. Uh, uh, and this dude got killed by a sword. Wait, he was on he was part of this one too? Jeez. Dude gets around. Did he eventually eat shit, I hope? Yeah, that's right, because he got stabbed by the captain in the last chapter. Yeah. Hey. Um shot with a gun, but I don't think he was part of it. He may have just been in earshot. Haha, <laughs> earshot. <laughs> oh boy. Um, shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Probably go look at that one, right? Oh, I think he was like on his way down below decks. Alright. I don't know what that. Oh, was he the one? Hmm. He might have clubbed this dude in the face, too. Yeah, it looks like a little... Got that little suspicious little sailor cap on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then he was just passing by the hallway on this one, right? And then he... Oh, right. He was, uh... 
he was backing up the first mate, and then the cap just shot the first mate in the chest. And apparently he didn't learn. <laughs> so he went in there and got his throat slit. Way to go, idiot. Um, it's like I'd presume he'd be, like, maybe the... Probably the third or fourth mate. If they were doing a full-blown fucking mutiny here. Although he was the one shooting the, um... Uh, the convicted dude, right? Uh, how many fates have we locked in so far? Six. We've got six so far. Um, that's the best we could do last time. And then we're just kind of apprising ourselves of, of what else we learned. So... <clears throat> mm, and it's saying we can de deduce this guy pretty easily. Uh, but I don't know if I trust that. So let's just have a look around. Let's have a look around, do some weird, timey things, and then do we know who this is. Oh, this was the um, artist dude, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow, oh, he gets front row seats to three idiots missing their shot. <laughs> okay, well this is a this is a no go. All right, so <clears throat> is there anything on the main deck that we can kind of take care of here? I think we looked at all of these already, right? Although let's let's take some fresh looks at some of this. Let them go. Yeah, he just takes Brown right in the chest. See, look, why wasn't she on the firing line there? She fucking nailed him. Like, center mass, right there. Nice job. And apparently we know who she is, somehow. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. So hopefully one more dude down there? Oh no, another lady down there, okay. I don't know who she is, either. Oh, and then there's this guy here. Like, what's... He, what's his plan? Where's he headed? Hmm. Oh, and this is oh here's our here's our good old buddy the cap. <clears throat> well, I guess if she didn't do this guy, he was definitely gonna. He was ready. And then this dude was bringing up the rear as well. I don't know what the heck happened to him yet. Where was uh, our good buddy, the unknown... Here, this dude, here, yeah. Okay. And then this dude we already know, right? He ate shit from... Uh... I think that Cap shot this dude in the chest, right? Alright. Uh, what else do we know? Oh, and there was a good old knife fight going on down here, maybe? Jeez, things were going bad all over the place. I mean, yeah, fight is a strong word. It, it looks more like this dude's, uh... He's got the jump on this dude. This dude's probably toast. I don't know that that helps us shore up the identity of that fucker just yet, so... <clears throat> um, this is not the same dev as Anti-Chamber. This is, uh, the same dev as Papers, Please. Lucas Pope is the primary dev behind this one. I think it's rather striking, though. I mean, I, I, I don't deny the, the sort of aesthetic similarities as Anti-Chamber. They have, you know, very, very simple, very you know, determined to be what it is. Um, but yeah, I do really enjoy this style, though. It's it's wild how much you can do with two colors and a lot of dithering. Stippling? Dithering. Whatever. Both. Alright, 
What else can we look at that might shore up our idea of what that dude is? <clears throat> Wait, the... Wait, that was Lars Linde? Really? I didn't think that was... I thought that was on the other side. No? Hmm. Oh, right, because they were getting ready to lower the life ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This thing we already figured out, right? This was the artist that got very unpleasantly crushed to death. <clears throat> this dude, is this the dude that took the cannon to the face? <clears throat> oh no, he was cr Oh, you're right, he was... Crushed in the larynx by a cannon. Yeah. Let's take a look at that again. And then crunch. Yeah. This dude got crushed by this other cannon. So yeah, they did not have a good time down here. Can I get by in here, sirs? Can you move? Make way, please? No? Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Hmm. Apparently we know who this dude is, too, but... We've got enough of an idea. Anything else we can kind of glean from this? We know that two dudes got crushed by cannons. Not a great way to go, if we're being honest here. But I think the only thing we're missing on this one is who the hell this guy is. Which we supposedly can identify. Uh, I think, right? Which one is this one? He's that guy there. Uh... uh, uh was that? <laughs> Which picture was he in? Alright, he was in the, the hanging picture. He was not... Just a little bit to the right of the corpse. Uh, that guy? No. This guy. Hmm. Where else was he in? Okay, so obviously he was in the memory where he got unceremoniously crushed. Um, okay, you also probably heard that one. And then, yeah, he was standing around for the execution. Hmm. <laughs> oh, nice. It does start that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Alright, well, unfortunately that doesn't help me ID him this time. Hmm. We don't know who he is, but according to his fancy hat, he's probably one of the higher-ups as well.
we've got a first mate identified, we've got a second mate identified, so he's probably third or fourth, almost certainly. And then whoever is not the other third or fourth is probably this dude here. But who the heck knows? Man. What's this guy's story? Don't know a thing about him. All right. What about this dude? What's this dude's story? this guy. Oh, he's one of the memories within a memory. All right, what happened? Or or not, maybe this is one we didn't get to, huh? Oh, this is fresh. Oh wait, no, that doesn't sound fresh. Oh, this is the dude that took the round to the face. Oh, yeah it is. Oof, right. Okay. Yeah, he is uh Definitely did not have a good time. Okay, so use the gunner, blasted with a cannon by an unknown attacker? Well, it's... It... By the beast, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Oof. Like, I mean, I... Ooh, jeez. Alright, well, I, I guess. I guess the beast earns that kill, right? That's what we're gonna call it right now, anyways. It's clearly having a blast. Oh no, why? Did you use that fun last time, too? I'm so ashamed and disappointed and proud of you. <laughs> Alright, what else we got going on here? Okay, there's Idiot McGee. Damn, why couldn't he have been one of the ones crushed by a cannon? Probably deserved it. Not this guy. I don't know enough about him. Oh, and then this is the dude that got literally torn apart. Yuck. Ah, and we already have him marked up, so, alright. Hmm. It's hard to tell <laughs> what part of him actually took the cannon hit. It looks like he's missing his head, so I'm guessing he uh, took it on the chin, as it were. Alright. Mm, Alright, I don't know if that was very helpful at all either. <laughs> Double tap. <laughs> you do have to be sure sometimes, you know, just in case. All right. Hmm. Right, because that was this dude here, yeah? Yeah. Who the heck is this? Why did he pop up in that same frame, huh? Corpses. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, maybe. Or this is the one that we don't know about. We haven't seen an explicit death for this one. What about this guy? Is this one of the other crush time babies here? Yep. Alright. Hmm. Uh, and then this guy got stabbed in the back, I think, because he overheard the mutiny plan. <laughs> oh no! Get cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save me. You tell her yourself. 
Brain! Brain the surgeons, Kent! Jeez, a lot happened here. Oh, right. He just got totally... How is he missing two-thirds of his face again? That couldn't have been from a club. Because if so, man, this dude's got strength to spare, apparently. What was this dude's story? No idea. Let's check on him. Dude, huh? Clubbed by an unknown attacker. Well, yeah, unknown in so much as we don't know his name <laughs> yet. I think this dude was the same, more or less. Oh no, he okay. All right, I was about to say, how could he be missing two thirds of his head from a club? All right, he got shot. Huh, by that dude. Mutiny! Mutiny! Waiting for it, waiting for it. Oof! You hate to see it. Alright, but what is that? What does that do for us? Like, we don't know enough about him. We know enough about him? Well, no, he's missing two-thirds of his face. How could we possibly know? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I mean, they went head-to-head, -head, and this guy lost, surely. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... Hmm. Still doesn't really give us much. Okay, so here's the dude that got stabbed in the back, right? And he managed to make it like all the way over here, so what a trooper. Right, okay, yeah. So he's like, yeah, he, this this dude was definitely in on it. And then this other dude, the one he was trying to get to, just said, you know, fuck you, and kaboom. So he survived for like another two minutes at best. And then he ate shit from, uh, where even was he? Up here? Oh yeah, he was coming down to investigate. He's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on down there? What's this? Who's this dude? Ah, okay, so there's the... There's the first mate. I'm gonna go check it out too, but he'll get his. He'll get his later. And here's Cap. I think here's Cap. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's Cap doing up here. It's been like, ah, oh, fuck, this, uh, this crew's, uh. This crew's gone south and not in the direction. Hmm. else going on here? Did we figure out this one at all? Yeah, alright, that's the one that took it in the chest. As they were trying to stop the, uh, the lifeboat from going, right? I think this dude looks like he's pushing his body overboard, probably. Yeah, good, good idea, get rid of the evidence. Take a poke at here. I think the only one we can kind of go in depth on is this one then.
Let them go was probably good old Cap yelling about it. This guy ate it from the sword, right? Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, yeah, Paul. Paul was this dude, right? Yeah. Killed the sword by an unknown attacker. Okay. Because he was the only Paul on the list, I think. Let's double check that. Yeah, looks like it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Do we have any info on her? Maybe, uh, last name match or something? No. No. She's probably one of the normal passengers. Or Emily or Miss Jane Bird there. What about that guy? Do we know anything about him? Nah. Kind of hanging out there. Although, maybe not. What about her? She's the other one, right? Yeah. Does kind of have a nice mustache there, doesn't he? Very, very well groomed. Very well groomed. Paul definitely ate it in the lung, I guess, with a sword. Not what happened to a majority of these folks. All right, so here's, like, here's the dude we want to focus around, right? Because he's involved in so many of them. And that dude we already know. But further below deck, did we get any of this? Oh, here's where he was listening in. Okay. All right. And this dude I think we already solved, yeah? Yeah, he's missing his arm, I think. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's got a little stump going out there, too. Well, kind of the monster to leave that behind. <clears throat> Do we know anything about him? No. But we know he was shot with a gun. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was like, ah, oh, camp can't be trusted. And then this dude figured it out. And he's like, ah, oh, you fresh bastard, come here. And he's just like, oh, I'm going to get you. And then he got his face blown off. Yeah, all right. It's starting to come together. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's check this one more time. Yeah, and we identified him because of, um, this was this dude with the, uh, mate from France, right? Uh, yeah, the Bosun and the Bosun's mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. We think they were both kind of torn apart by the beast, which makes sense, I guess. So, all right, so here's what we can do. 
I think it stops us at every three, yeah? Every three that we get right, it's like, yeah, congrats, you got three of them right. So I guess we're not playing Clue here, right? Like, we can throw out accusations left and right and hope that one sticks. That's what we can do. So let's go to, um... Hmm. Let's go to one... Probably this dude, right? Oh, that's not the one I was thinking of. I thought this was Angry Dude. Oh no, but we already we already figured him out, so not that guy. I think that was the cap. He was headed back topside for some reason. Okay, good job. We don't know about him yet. Alright, we gotta back out. We're like fucking three memories deep here. I expect to hear the inception horn soon. So where's the doorway out of this? There we go. Um, all right, we need to get to, uh, is there anything in here? No. Okay. We need to get to, we need to get to here. I need to look back into this one. I think just by a little guess and check here. Puck Seng Lao. You have been found you can get this idiot. Let's take a look at the crew one more time. Cause he he would have been gunner related, right? So maybe it's Grolus here. Maybe it's Olus. Let's take a guess. Okay. Eh. Shot by a gun by uh, Colonel Mustard in the conservatory. Um, no. What was his name? Olus? Olus. No, that didn't take, so that's probably not right. <laughs> Uh, definitely wasn't shot by our good friend Christian Wolf because we know who he is. Where the heck is he? Here. This guy. I suppose we could just guess his name. We could just brute force this shit. Um. Well, assuming we have the other two correct, right? So, that's probably not him anyways. Uh, would have thought he was the gunner's mate. No. Doesn't seem that way. Huh. Would they have trusted a carpenter with a gun, you think? He doesn't look like a Winston the way it is. Hmm. They wouldn't have given a surgeon a gun either, would they? No. That'd be silly. Of this shit. Hmm. Like it says, it's an easy deduction. That's what the 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 one triangle says to me. Is it's easy easy deduction, but I don't know that that's uh, necessarily true. It would help. It would help if I could get, 
a voice to this dude. We could narrow it down a little bit. Hmm. I gotta find a memory with his voice in it. And by the also, can I clear this out before I forget? Unknown. Unknown officer? Can I just get unknown person? Unknown topman? Unknown seaman? Whatever. Yes, as long as it's marked unknown, that's good enough for me. I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Like a no, no, no. All right. Yeah, very good. Thank you. In. Fire. Mr. Wolf, when you're ready. So that's this dude here, right? It's Christian Wolf. He's the, the gunner. Yeah. at the helm? Would that be too obvious? I guess we can't see the helm from here. Alright, let's find a memory with that dude talking. Maybe we can narrow it from there. So he's, he probably he was probably the one that said kick it in. Cause I don't think the cap would be saying that. The cap would definitely say you bastards can take whatever I give you. Ha ha ha. Well, let's go back to that one. I want to hear it. I want to hear what he says. I want to hear how he says it. Captain, this dude here. That's yeah, this dude here. Kick it in. What kind of accent is that, do you think? Kick it in. Like, gruff, but kind of mm, understated. Not really strong on the second k. <laughs> what kind of accent would that be? Probably not English. Maybe English. Scottish? Nah. Nah. I need more than three words. <laughs> I need more than three words out of this mofo to, to do this. He was just present for that one. Was he the dude? Yeah. I th okay, so I think he was the one that says this one here. So that's down below. Not that I think I'll have a positive ID on voice alone, but it might help me along a little bit. Alright, so let's head on down. See what we can see. Hear what we can hear. Uh, this one here? Yeah. All this shit, damn fool. What's all this, you damn fool? That it has kind of the, the Scottish little sh in there, but 
I don't know if that's enough to say, yeah, that's definitely him. Hmm. And who would, uh, who would be on the firing line? Uh, it didn't sound like an English accent. Get a real good look at his mug here. Uh, sir, excuse me, can I get a little, a little closer? Definitely wasn't any of the passengers. Could have been Irish? Could have been a little Irish? What's all this? You damn fool? Nah, I don't know. I don't know if that's accurate either. Though. Okay, let's go back up to Yoink. Hok Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self consistency. Would have, would have told me. Would have told me if that was right, I think. Hmm. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Uh, I think there's just one part of that that we're missing. To really be sure um, but let's kind of let's put a pin in that for now uh, and see what else we can see around here I think we can go below decks one more time or can we not go like super below deck yet they not gonna let us do that oh no here we go Ooh, that doesn't look great Oh yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. What happened here? Oof. Well, that's no good. What in the hay hole? Oh. Uh. Well, that doesn't look like a squid at all. But, uh. Look like, uh. Okay, looks like he took it in the back. Who actually fired that bullet? <laughs> so it went through that weird spider looking thing. And it still had enough velocity to go through this wall and then in and out. Wow, that's a hell of a blast. Oh, there we go, okay. Got eyeballs on him there. 
It's part of an entirely different chapter, too, so, okay. Hmm. Who is this and how did they die? Well, <laughs> took a round in the back. That's pretty clear. With a gun. Uh, by who the heck knows. And supposedly we know who he is, since his face is nice and clear there, but... Couldn't tell you much else about it. It's not the cap, that's the first mate there. That looked like the cap. Really clear enough. I have a clear enough shot on the rest of those to find out who they were. This guy, ooh, well. That's, ooh, that's not good. All right. What do you got going on here? Yeah, I would not, uh, I would not go for the newfangled acupuncture, I don't think. That looks a bit too deep for my tastes. Phew. Who is this and how did they die? Well, uh, they became a new wall hanging. Uh, let's see, what does that qualify as? Definitely not alive. Eh, clone, clone, crushed, had to drown, elite and electrocuted, expired. Expired is pretty generic. Uh, definitely not knifed. Speared? Spiked. Spiked is pretty specific. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ouch. Like, ow. <laughs> That's awful. Alright, well, we still got the shaky death hand going on, so let's see what else we got. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. 
Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> eh, eh. Sorry. All right, let's go. Oof. Well, I think he was on fire. Oh, Andy got stabbed? No. Maybe just on fire. Yeah, he... No. No, he's just on fire. What else we got going on here? Apparently we know who he is. Not that guy yet. That guy's like, no, I can't watch. And I don't blame him. And oof. Oh, so he got away. Because I, I think this is the guy that got shot through the back. Yeah, he was making his way down there. Alright, well that explains the blood trail. Whew, he got rather far considering where he got fucking pierced through there. Ouch. All right, well, that guy definitely burned. Like, jeez. Don't know who he is. But he got burned. So there's more than one of them. Yikes. Well, that's a double kill if ever I've seen one. Also, what the hell? Uh huh. Well, he's gonna have a bad day. Maybe not as bad a day as those guys, but oof. Looks like this dude's fencing lessons are about to pay off. Hmm. Who's this and how did they die? Well. That should be pretty clear. Uh, well, what does that qualify as, do you think, huh? Strangled? Does that qualify as strangled, do you think? It looks like it was like halfway, halfway there to decap. But maybe strangled works? I'm gonna go with strangled by a beast for both of them. Yeah. Uh, strangled by a beast. Okay. 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 All right. This guy's got the right idea. Molotov incoming. Uh, but folks, better get out of the way. <laughs> Somebody up above deck's getting it too? Jeez. Oh, well. What in the heck? Oh, 
there's one. Oh, good gravy. Huh. Yeah, catch, huh? <laughs> I think it won. <laughs> yeah, it definitely won. Work on them amateur lumberjack axe throwing skills another time there, buddy. Good lord. Oh, and that guy's about to eat it too. Oh no. Based on the trajectory, he's gonna take that right in the heart. Unless he uh, moves right quick. I hope he moves right quick, it's gonna end poorly for him otherwise. What is this and how did they die? Well, uh... They got spiked. Good job. They made the first move. That was their problem, like they didn't parry with the axe first. And then they just tossed it. On top deck that's eating it here too, huh? Oof, that doesn't look good. That's more of a conventional spear though. Well, conventional. Not to say that's a better way to go than any of these others, but oof. Probably a little bit cleaner. Yikes. All right, well, don't everybody jump at once. <laughs> Ah, there's our good buddy, idiot. Man, why didn't he eat it? Why did he survive another three chapters before eating it? Well, let's see. How'd they die? They got speared. By... By a foreign enemy? No, by a beast.
headed back below decks for this one. Right, I'm just saying, like, fates be danged here. He was probably a big enough piece of shit that he should have ate it a lot sooner than he did. Oof. Well, that's not a good way to go either. Oh. Oh. Wow, okay. So, the fall didn't get him. <laughs> Oof. Uh. guys before we get out of here. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I know how he died. <laughs> Electrocuted. Alright. Serve up more softballs like that. I think we'll be fine. Phew. Okay, well... He certainly had an electric personality, but we don't know who he is, do we? Nope. He's definitely one of the top men, though. Wouldn't be up here otherwise. Most of these guys. Well, their portraits are nice and clear. I don't know if I know who they are just yet, though. There. That guy. Shot with a gun by unknown. Well, he's damn lucky he didn't need it here. What about this guy? No. Clubbed. Clubbed by the cat, for some reason. Alright. That dude was torn apart. We don't know what happened to him, I don't think. Just yet. Ooh. He's not gonna have a good time, though. Not even... Oh, I can't even zoom in on him enough to be like, Hey, who the F are you? Can I? Or can I just kind of... Well, I don't know that any of these <laughs> were solvable from the start here, were they? Entire string of bad things, huh? Oh, the exception of this one. Cargo deck. Is that one opened up now? Go back below and see what that last one is.
it's the two that got kind of choked out a little bit. Oh no, one of them is definitely, like, fully decapitated, though. Right? Like, that's definitely some... Definitely a bigger gap between head and or neck than there should be. Hmm, we'll think about it. Think about revising that one later. We've got to find a cargo deck. Here we go. Thing looks to be pretty ship shaped down here. Uh -huh. Hmm. Curious. Alright, let's see what we got. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse! Throw them back or doom us all! Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Hmm. the rest of his leg? <laughs> what a great question. <laughs> Where's the rest of his leg? Well, who the fuck knows? I mean, I think we found the rest of his leg, right? It was way back in the corner. Must be the cap, right? It's coming down to check things out. It's almost certainly the surgeon. Surgeon and the surgeon's mate, I would presume. Oh, and this is part of a different chapter altogether, too? Dang it, I was just looking for the last one in chapter 6 there, I guess. Hmm. Who is this and how did they die? Well, I mean... I thought I heard the surgeon being like, Yeah, you've had worse. And then I guess he died? <laughs> um... Would that qualify as torn apart if he's missing a leg, yeah? Other dude is missing an arm, we called that torn apart. Is there just no generic blood loss? No, huh? Mm. Yeah, I guess torn apart. By something. Uh, a beast, I guess? Take a guess at this one. Eh. <sighs> okay, um, hmm. I presume the surgeon is actually doing... Oh, is he... Is he actually cutting the rest of his leg off? Or is he he's trying to stem the blood flow? Okay, good luck. Uh... Hmm. Alright, well... Follow this to its natural completion, I guess. Oh, 
second deck anyways. Let's cut it off. Oh. Did it give up on me since I... Oh no, there it is. <laughs> it's like... I knew it was going to come up here eventually. A very <laughs> that was a quick one. Look out! Oh. Well, hmm. really got to be more careful on them stairs. stock they had that they slaughtered or something? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Now we're back on chapter five. Well, how did he die? He got crushed in the back of the neck by something. <laughs> by... Cargo, I guess? Sure. Maybe? I don't know. That's hard to tell. Like it was the one of the carrying things of this little stretcher like thing of a bop, right? I feel like that was cargo. Maybe there's a better one for that. Yeah, the electrocuting expired, exploded, fell, froze illness, yeah, that's the only one that really makes sense to me. Oops, not decapitated. Uh, crushed by a cargo. Oh, apparently that dude ate shit as well. And that, that dead cow or whatever has more kills than some of these dudes. That's embarrassing. First of all, ouch. But, uh, hmm. Hmm. He got, he got caught looking a little bit, so I can't say I have sympathy for the guy. And that's almost certainly the cook, right? He's like, yeah, I'll cook something up. Like, ah, oh, no, my face. Alright, well, it's a big ass shrimp. Spider, whatever thing, right? Hmm. Who is this and how did he die? Well, based on what he was saying already... I'm gonna guess that was the cook. 
But how did he die is kind of a... Kind of a weird thing, huh? He got slapped in the face. A lot of blood. Stabbed? Clawed? Maybe? Struck? No, oh, struck. By what looked like be a tail? Sure. He didn't get There's no other ports of entry there, right? Yeah? Okay, I think he just got smacked the fuck out by this thing's tail or whatever, huh? Something happened above Dix, too. Jeez, man. Can't catch a break. A lot going on on this ship. These two, huh? What the hell happened here? Lift yourself and what the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Uh huh. Well, okay. Um, nice job just standing there, idiots. Oh man, he's got the moves. Good job. Harold avoided that one. Uh, this dude? Not so much. Oh, that dude? Also not so much. Ouch. I got in the uh, armor piercing ammo upgrade. Oof. What are they even doing? Alright, it's one of the Formosan guards. And that guy. <laughs> Well, yeah, spiked. <laughs> As did this guy. Nice job. Double kill. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, narrowly avoided it. Woo! Rolled for luck and won. Those two not so much. That guy just rolled agility. These two, mm, not so lucky. aided in this unfortunate mess. This guy. Let's 
Jésus. Hmm, let's see. Okay. Still more going on to do with that, huh? Oh, they didn't even ask me to name how these suckers died either. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Weird mist. We don't have all night here. Let's go. Thank you. Somebody didn't get that order quick enough. Oh, was that idiot McGee in there? No. All right. No, I was one of the one of the foremost in guards. Damn it! Oh, I was hoping it was whatever his nuts is that we can't ID, so we could hate him even more. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. What in the hell? Well. That's probably bad luck. Very bad luck, I would say, in fact. One, two... He's got one of the Formosans in there, too. What the hell is this dude's deal? <laughs> He took a round in the chest. Oh, he's one of the higher-ups, too. Okay. Well, hmm. Well, hmm. This plot is convoluted. But it's, it's thickening up. Like a nice stew. Oh, it's our good friend Edward Nichols. Was he the dude that stabbed the other dude before? Because if so, fuck him. He deserved it. Um, he got shot by gun from uh, uh, one of the foremost guards, yeah? Oops. Uh, which one, though? Not Huxing Lao, right? Because he had already gotten shot. Uh... Hey, there we go. We guessed right. <laughs> I had to pick one of them. And we got it. So we got Cook. Uh, Christian Wolf. Death by cannon shot from what's his from one of the squids, yeah? And then our our good friend slash enemy Edward Nichols taken around in the chest from one of the guards. Okay. Still got the shaky death hand going on here.
Ah, I see. It's the other body we recovered out the boat, yeah? Okay. Alright. I'm pulling on a lot of threads here. The other Formosan royalty, I want to say? What the hell was he doing out there with this guy, anyways? What is... man, what is going on? Okay, well there she is. She's not looking so good. Um, I don't know if Nichols is doing these folks a solid, or if he's just out for his own. I'm gonna guess out for his own, because he seems like a right bastard. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Is he... Is that on fire? Is that burning? Like, what's going on there? Hmm. Hmm. I mean... Looks like he was burning. But like it feels like he had something else going on there too, so we'll we'll call it burning for now. Let's have a look at this. Definitely looks like a fire of some sort. <clears throat> That looks like the chest of valuables from before, missing the... Missing the shell, right? That's what everybody's all hot to trot to get here? Yeah, the shell. That doesn't sound good. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's not... What in the hell? Uh... What in the blazes is going on here? Alright, he was trying to do something. Was, what was Edward Nichols doing here? Was he just fucking having a little snooze? Oh no, that's not him. What the fudge is happening here? The other gunman on the line there. Oh there! Fucking coward! He was just fucking hanging out in the boat? What the hell, man? Do something! What in the hell? Fucking... If you're gonna mutiny or do whatever the fuck you were doing, at least do it with gusto. Be, have confidence. But no, he's just fucking cowering in the bottom of the boat. Well, met an unknown fate. We didn't really... Like, what could we even divine from that? Illness? Poison, maybe? Maybe poison. 
Doesn't leave any outward signs. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that one. Where, where's her corpse here? Here? No. There. What do you make of that? Can you really... Strangled at best, maybe? Like, eh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, hey, you still breathing? Can you roll? Hagen. Oh. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay. I've got a very clear idea on what's going on. Oh, Definitely Claude. <laughs> All right. I heard O'Hagan in there somewhere. That's our good buddy, the Cowardly Nichols. I don't know what, which, uh... I don't know who's on what side here. Who should we be rooting for? Definitely not Nichols, we know that much. He's a piece of shit. But I don't know, I don't know who we should be rooting for. <laughs> Accessible only through another corpse, great. Uh, who is this and how did they die? Well, I don't know. Like, which one of those corpses was it? It's whoever was speaking there. And I don't know. All right. Well, this one's pretty clear. He took a a spear through the the neck. I guess we'll find out soon. Keep rolling. Where is where? Something there. I see it. Oh, one shot. Oh, 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 woof. Uh, that was a good toss. Real good toss. Look at that arc. Yeah, that's a nice throw. Counted for wind. Ship was bobbing up and down. Damn. Get that one on the Olympic spear throwing team, I guess. The javelin, javelin toss would be real good. Dang, oh, right through the cheek. Woo, damn. Well, that guy got what for. Alright, so that dude was tied up for some reason. Who the heck knows why? Oh, that guy's probably not long for this world. Nichols is a big fat ass coward. Well, actually, I know. I don't know anything about the size of his ass, so. Just coward. Uh. Who is this and how did they die? Well, they took a spear through the cheek, I guess? Oops, not shot. Speared. By, I don't know, is it considered a beast? I guess we don't have a named character here, so, beast. Well.
Hmm. I guess it would have to be a beast, right? That's all. It's the best we got. I don't know who it is. Hmm. Man, a lot of shit went wrong out here, too, man. I think the ship wasn't safe, the open seas weren't safe. Wild. Is this idiot McGee here? Yeah, there's Nichols. Like, he had it out and ready. Like, why wouldn't she just fucking... Like, one, you're, you're looking the wrong way. Like, over there. Turn on your Soliton radar or whatever the fuck they gave you back then. Uh, hmm. That's the other dude that took a spear in the chest. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Be one trouble! <laughs> I shut it off. This is strange things about monsters. Oh, well, <laughs> that's probably why. Oof. Again, another great throw. Two for two. Two for two. I mean, this one's a little bit less impressive, larger target and all that, but still, you can't argue with results. Kind of popped up to say hello and then right in the chest. And then this dude's reactions were pretty good. He's like, oh shit, I don't want none of that. Daddy ate shit later, anyways. All right, well, spear again by presumably beast. Okay, and thus ends that string of things. Like, how how was it that Nichols, the, the biggest coward of the lot, was the one that came through this? I mean, before he got shot in the chest, right? I think everybody else died. Well, maybe one of these other dudes survived. Because there's a lot of people out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight folks are out here. Phew, well, that is going to be a lot to sort out. Two unaccounted for. So at least six dead and two unaccounted for there. Neither of which we know. We figured out. <laughs> this idiot ate it good. I'm glad. And this one we should know about, right? <clears throat> As, uh, what was it? The previous one. 
one of the previous ones went by name, right? Bang. There we go. And it looked like he burned to death, but I have no idea if that's actually right. He's just like, oh, are you there? And then he's got a big old flame on his chest, so... That should be about it, right? Get back. Alright, so we are back on the ship here. Let's, uh. Let's take a peek back at the table of contents. We should be through most of them, right? Oh, we haven't done some of the very first chapters. We haven't found that shit yet. It's cargo. Bitter cold. Okay, so we gotta go back and do, like, the very first ones. I think the rest of them we might have at least skimmed over, right? Let's take a quick page through this here. Unholy captives, yeah. Let's see. Should be all fold up, right? Now, there was one we were looking for. Here we go. We were looking at the cargo deck, and then we got shuttled off to a different chapter. But I think there's a lot going on in the cargo deck yet, so we gotta go back there. I don't know what happened to those two. Or these five. not open to us yet. Lazarette. I need to look up what Lazarette is. I don't know what that means. And then shit really went wrong here. Trying to get away and everybody's like, oh no, let me go. And he's like, no, let me go. And it's like, oh, you guys. Could have could have cooperated and more people could have survived, but no, everybody was Selfish bastards to each other. And then some of these dudes rightly ate shit. Especially this guy. How he managed to survive as long as he did is a mystery. Alright, uh. Glossary. There's a Lazarette. Did they not tell me what the Lazarette is? I feel like that would be important info to have. Hmm. All right, well, to the cargo deck to figure out where the fuck the rest of this stuff is. So there was a thing here, right? Yeah. Okay. This is where they were talking about mutiny and all that, and cat can't be trusted and whatever, and this dude's missing an arm, and... This dude was listening in, but he didn't get away, and this dude's missing two-thirds of his face, because of a pistol, and all that. And shit got real weird. Well, I guess shit went real weird before that, right? Spiders and garbage. Oh. Uh. Interesting. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this? Her here. One swing. Get true to skull in stoner brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? What? Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Well, that doesn't sound good. Well, we know this dude's Charlie now. 
I mean, I guess. Like, why couldn't more folks uh, say their names out here so we could ID them? Could be really helpful, honestly. So here, we got, we got good old Charlie here. Uh, shit, I messed that up, hold on. Charlie, 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 where are you, Charlie? Um... Probably not him? There's more than one Charles on board? There we go. So we already took care of this one, right? We already named that one. How many, how many more Charles do you think there are on this boat? Probably just this one. Okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> Are we really logging the death of a cow? <laughs> really? Serious? Ah, <laughs> uh, they don't let me ID it. Come on. The easiest one. Well, there's still a couple more to that chapter yet, too. Ah, there we go. Shaky death hand. What else we got? Okay, this is the one they were bringing down the stairs, yeah? Okay. That's what caught my eye. So, let's see what we got. Disease. Very good. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him. <laughs> Doesn't sound office. so good. <laughs> I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Ugh. Rough way to go there, too. Hanging around to hear this? Another boarded up corpse there. What the heck, man? That guy's just kicking back, like, ah, oh, hey, ain't no thing. This guy's literally dying. Bad news and such. These two are just hanging out outside, like, eh, got nothing better to do. So wait, this all spawned from going to look at that cow skull. That's kind of bizarre. <laughs> all 
All right, okay, so here's the other obvious corpse, right? saying like what what was it just like the other fellow or whatever but is this before or after that mm. Mm. yeah not looking so good for Syed there This guy's just trying to have a snooze. He's like, shut the fuck up over there. Despite the fact he's literally dying. Alright. So, oh, wait, what? Oh. No, this guy here. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Sied, Sied, Sied. <clears throat> there we go. Solomon's yet. That is almost readable. Seems unusual to have that particular detail here, doesn't it? Hmm. Might be important later, huh? Alright, well, that's probably another illness, huh? Ah, eh, eh, all right, looking good. <clears throat> Keeping pace here, if we get six a night, that's pretty good, methinks. the ones we uh, put to bed there. Are all those pretty obvious? I guess, huh? Besides the other dude who took ill, but... Uh... Wait, where's the other one that we did? Oh, did could we not uh, ID him? Is that the whole thing? Yeah, okay, so we couldn't ID him right away. So we'd all have, they must have picked it up the last car house, checked all hands just now and everyone was healthy, and him, what are his chances? Well, fucking name, please! <laughs> Come on, have pity on us time-traveling insurance adjusters that, that need to identify causes of death, please. Name names. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like we can get chapter one, yeah? Is probably just the one on the cargo deck. All right, well, let's see if we can get that one before we hang it up tonight.
Ah, I see. I hear the folks playing cards over here. How does it think that we know how to ID these folks, huh? Like, oh yeah, you've seen you know, fragments of memories everywhere. You know, you should know who these people are by now. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Here, numbers, numbers, yeah, numbers. Maybe numbers are the key. They are fairly obvious, ain't they? So, okay, well, obviously that's this dude's number. X. Come on! You don't give me a number on this one. Fuck you. Ah. Uh, oh, that sucks. Alright, so... Wh why does this guy get an X? Like, come on. You're gonna show me these real clear-ass numbers. And then you just go, oh, no X! It's like, fuck, come on. Alright, well, we can ID this guy, then, if he's in the right bunk, right? 51? Uh, hold on a second. Eh? Oh, he was the other dude that died. Okay. Uh, 51. Renfred Bajub? There you go. Sorry, Renfred. You died from an illness. Are any of these other ones obvious? No. Nobody else, uh... Man, everybody else sleeps with the blanket just totally over their faces? Come on. Well, wait. Hold on a sec. Can we use, uh... Use Algebra to figure this out? 54? 51? 53? 59? 38, wait, 38, excuse me? That's not how numbers work. 39, 40, 41, 38, 39, 40, 41. What's number 59 doing all the way over here? Excuse me. Where'd these idiots learn proper sequences of numbers? 37, 42. That guy's probably got some answers. Seven. I mean, my instinct says that's fifty two. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, I probably shouldn't commit to that, actually. Where else is he? Let's see, I didn't even gotta. Chapter 5, Chapter 6, 6. Okay, so we eventually ate it here, right? 5, 7. Wait, what? No. What? Thirteen others were present, including the dude I'm interested in? What the hell? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? They crushed in that same bit of chapter there? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one just yet. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Cave. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your hot date tomorrow. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Uh, 39, 40, 41, 38. Like, these are all out of sequence. I don't get it. And then 59 is just like, ah, oh, well, 
Fuck, we got all other 58 bunks in here. What are we gonna do with 59? I don't know. Put them next to 38. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, like, nobody from the future is gonna come down and look at bunk numbers. No, but it's not gonna matter. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, well... I'm glad I noticed the numbers at the very least. Because it seems odd. In a, in a thoroughly, like, low-fidelity aesthetic, to have these numbers just be like, BAM! Bunk 56. Yeah, that, that probably means something, doesn't it? It's a shame we can't ID more of these guys like that. But we got this one. Supposedly. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can find the other Chapter 1 mishap and then bust on out for now. Wait, there was a third death in there? We got the two illnesses, right? Oh, well, what? Come on. <laughs> The cow doesn't count? I think the cow counts. Oh, I guess it didn't pop our, our Chivo for figuring out the entirety of Chapter 2 because this one didn't lock in, right? Maybe it didn't lock in. Because we need an, another third one, or a second and a third one to make it count. Okay, uh, Chapter 1 then. Gonna tell me where it is. I mean, loose cargo, I would presume cargo deck, right? Well, let's head below decks and see what we can see. So we were originally on our way down there, and then we got distracted by the cow skull. It's loose cargo. So let's look for some loose cargo. That looks loose. That's probably not cargo. Alright, well, let's start looking in some doors. Hmm. They wouldn't miss one little bottle, would they? Huh, I see. Well, ain't this right suspicious. <laughs> Oof, that didn't sound good. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that didn't sound good. <laughs> Womp. Man. Was this like, was they were loading the ship up? Wow, he didn't even get a chance to go out to sea. That's unfortunate for him. Oof. Well, who are the idiots that dropped this? Come on, I want names. Oh, is that our good buddy Lars? Aw. Hopefully he didn't have a hand in this. Alright, but that's pretty clear, crushed by Carl. Oh. Oh, he wasn't even part of the crew. He was just kind of stowing away, huh? Oops. Well, maybe should have picked a better place to hide. Sorry. Oh, he was in the barrel. <laughs> was he? 
I didn't even see that. That's kind of unfortunate, huh? Alright, well, I don't know if I can do much about that one, huh? Oh, no, no, it doesn't look like he was in a barrel. It looked like he was just kind of hanging out. Oh, wait, wait, what? <clears throat> wait, what the hell? Oh, okay, so here's... Oh, th this crew dude got crushed, right? Oh, and that's what the whole death thing is going wild for. Okay, okay, okay. A barrel... Oh, I, I see. I get you. We were, we were looking at the barrel guy's memory, but the dude who got crushed, yeah, kind of ate shit, huh? Oops. Interesting. Interesting. Oof, that didn't sound good. Well, I mean... Looks like it was maybe a relatively clean kill? Like, obviously landing on him probably hurt like a bitch, but... Considering where his neck was at, at the corner of that crate, and then just crushing force from above, probably just like, and then that was it. So, maybe, maybe he actually got the best of it, considering everything else that happens on this damn ship. I think we're gonna have to reconsider that other crushed by cargo death as well. Because this one's very clearly crushed by cargo. Hmm. How in the heck would you even identify who that is? There's our good friend that got, unfortunately, accused of a murder he didn't do because dipshit Nichols actually did it. I don't know who that is. I don't know who this is. Alright, is that going to be the extent of everything we can see? We're just gonna have to deduce the rest. That's gonna be. Hmm. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> one, one lonely death. Oh, wait, there's two deaths here. Oh, was it the the stowaway? Yeah, unidentified stowaway. Crushed inside. Okay, I missed the the word inside there. Inside a falling barrel. Whoops. Whoops. Bad for him. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, where is our list of thingamabops? 
that other one we marked as crushed by cargo, because I'm not 100% certain that that's correct now. We don't know that that's Samuel Peters either. Not try to guess at the stuff we're not a hundred percent sure about. I guess. I'm pretty sure this is that's this dude here though. If he was in bunk fifty one, I'm pretty sure this is Lars. He's like, ah, oh, you, you damn Dane or whatever. And I think Denmark is really the only reference for that. Yeah. Hmm. Where's the other dude who got crushed by the? Uh... By the um, the cargo that we said before, which chapter was that? Unholy captives, right? <clears throat> spiked, spiked, pretty obvious. Struck dead. That one locked in. This one. Does that qualify as cargo? Now that we know it's a weird mermaid shrimp lady thing? Warlock deck. Let's review that one real quick. Should be right up there. The other stairwell, right? Yeah, here. Uh, this one? Yeah. Ooh, nice meaty snap on the end there. Okay, oh no, maybe that was considered cargo, because that looks like, uh... Does that look like a cow? Or a beast or something? Can we get up the other stairwell and come down the other side? No, of course not. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> what is this? Perfectly accurate time travel? They wouldn't let me look at it like that, would they? Did they say anything about this? No, it's just a, a bunch of grunting and groaning and then a... <coughs> Fortunate for this guy here. So here's where we deduce some identities here. This looks like the carpenter's workshop, doesn't it? So is this the carpenter, or is this the carpenter's mate? I'm thinking it's the carpenter. Because he's, he's focused on the task. He's a professional. He's just doing his thing. And then this is the carpenter's mate probably coming out and saying, La -da, What's going on? Um, Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna call this the carpenter's mate, uh, here. And we'll call this dude the carpenter. And he met an unfortunate end. Oh, and I can't go indoors in memories, can I? Boo. This guy's got somewhere to be, apparently. Oh, that's the artist dude. What the hell is the artist dude doing? I was like, what, is, what the heck does he hope to be able to do here? Like, this is the deed is already done. He's like, quick, I gotta sketch this or something? Alright, that dude's got a long apron. That might be the butcher, huh? Is there a butcher on board? Yeah. Okay. Probably. He's probably overseeing carrying the cow corpse down or whatever, yeah. Maybe. I don't know what this dude's plan was. And here's the dude that actually died. Hmm. 
Hum. Hum, hum, hum. I don't know, uh... What else we can do with this one here. What were you... Were, right, I originally wanted to confirm if this was actually cargo. Which it seems like it is, right? This doesn't look like... Oh. This doesn't look like it's one of the weird mermaid fish lady things, right? It looks like an actual cow they were bringing down. Or no, why would the... Hold on a second. Oh, well... That's hard to tell. That's actually kind of hard to tell. Um... Hmm... I don't know. Is that still considered cargo? It's definitely crushed, right? Definitely not by a terrible beast. Definitely not a cannon in that thing. It's not rigging, and it's not stones. Stones. So yeah, it's got to be cargo, right? Let's see who else is involved here. That guy. That guy. The guy who got exploded. <laughs> oh. That guy. It's torn apart by a terrible beast, unfortunate for him. Man, I really wish they would name names. Make this a lot easier. <laughs> it would be a much better commentary if you could consider any human to be a terrible beast. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Unfortunately, uh, as a time-traveling insurance adjuster sent by the East India Company here, Chalking everything up to a terrible beast is apparently not a good enough job to be doing. <laughs> Considering we've got, what, 60 terrible beasts aboard by that, uh, by that measure, right? Yeah, 60 terrible beasts, not counting the ones from the sea. All right, so, um, how can we identify the rest of these idiots? Hey, Sir Atlan Mondar, how you doing? Good to see you. You're unfortunately coming in on the tail end of this one, but we're going to spend a few minutes trying to do some deductions at the very least. And now I'm kind of questioning my assessment that this dude was the helmsman. Whoever we identified. I would presume he is, because he's like, he's got that wheel under lock, right? We don't know what the heck happened to him. Do we have anything else about what he's been through here? Well, he was there for that one, apparently. Really? He was there for that one? Yeah, I guess he was there for that one. Weird. And he was there for the unfortunate, untimely passing of Abigail Hoskat Witterell, Cap's wife, presumably. Or no, who who was the Cap again? I thought Witterell was the Cap, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, it was probably first Dickbag's sister, right? Oh, Scott Witterell. Yeah, almost, almost assuredly. Hmm. Figure out the guy that shot the dude that got framed. Yeah, like that idiot. He shows up everywhere. I mean, thankfully, he eventually eats shit, but like, ugh. he was allowed to do too much before he ate shit. We'll, we'll get, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. Um, is that supposedly an easy deduction? Do you think? Where is he? 
Where's that idiot? Here. Oh yeah, you get easy deduction. My ass. I want to know who assigns these little tiny ass triangles. Uh, okay. Well, let's take a quick spin through that. Yeah. There's the escape. Like he was, yeah, he was going to whatever and escape. Yeah. Uh, where was he at first? Wait, he was present for the fucking cargo crush here? Where the fuck was he there? Ah, like it matters. Actually, wait, where was he on this one? Was he coming out of his cabin or something? Because we could identify that. If so. Uh, so not this one. We gotta get out of here. Although I don't think he was high enough to high enough on the pecking order to get his own cabin, right? So yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, all right, so down to the hold we go. To wherever the corpse was, wherever it ended up. Yeah, right. Okay. All right, where was he? That he was even present for the very first thing. Not that guy. Not that guy, clearly. Is he just hanging out up there? Which one looks like that idiot? That one there? Oh. There! What? Okay, he's at least doing some work this time. He's carrying shit. Good for him, I guess. So how did we ID him through the wood there? That seems weird. Can I jump? I can't jump. That's weird. Huh. So he's part of the firing line. He was part of the loading crew. Privileged status. Well, he survived pretty long. That's pretty privileged to me. Probably not a steward. Doesn't sound like a midshipman. He wasn't up above, so probably not a topman. Is he really a seaman, though? Hmm. Hmm. We can probably ID- well, I'm gonna backtrack out of this a little bit. We can probably ID the surgeon. Because he was, uh... Handed out laudanum like candy before. Uh, Alright, let's go to. Wasn't the cargo deck? Would have been one deck above. I think. Alright. Yeah, let's see where's the passenger. Little compartment things. Actually, was it one deck below? Yeah, I guess it was, huh? No, this is all the... Now I'm confused. No, here's the carpenter's workshop, right? Yeah. I remember where that... Yeah, because he was in here. To find whatever led us to this one, though. Which one was it? Bitter cold, right?
else. Not this dude, but the next one. And it was... Ah, man. I have such bad pictures here. Whoever was talking here. Need to find whatever memory that was again. Uh, wish we could just... Oh, here. Tells me where the corpse was there. Okay, so it was just outside. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. Well, this dude's probably the surgeon. Did we already ID him as the surgeon? I feel like we did. We did not. Okay. Somebody turn down the orchestra in the back? I'm trying to listen to this. <laughs> Damn it. John Williams, get your orchestra out of here. Well, let's see here. Do we have any other... Okay, he's been in several things. Uh, one, two... Okay. Both of these two? I don't know. He was... Hmm. Interesting. Is he considered part of this? Hmm. Not really part of that one? Seems kind of silly. Okay, let's shed. Sayed? Sayed. Sayed, whatever. And it's not right, though. No. Um, hmm. I need to back all the way out to get to the, the cow thing. Because it said the dude was present for that, too. But was he also present for this one? Twenty-two. Oh, twenty-two others. Well, that'll narrow it down. Uh. Says I can deduce all of these, huh? That seems unlikely. All right. What did the ye old doctor look like here? Surgeon. Whatever. I guess the surgeon's the doctor. Not any of these. That guy? No. No. I guess if he was on here, we would have... Would have been identified with a bookmark, yeah? Surgeon's room, yeah, literally the surgeon's room. Um, this guy, Henry Evans, Soygen. He's also apparently present for the cow slaughtering. Really, where? All right, where 
Where's the cow slaughtering then? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, this is probably the. He's helping out, so this is probably the surgeon's mate. James Wallace. Oh, hey, blip! Got him. Ba 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 <laughs> cool. That's what? Quarter of them? 15 out of city? Good. Good, good, good. Are there any more we can quickly do? Oh, we got the butcher right too, huh? Okay. Um, do we have the butcher's mate? Is there a butcher's mate? I need here. There is where's the butcher? There's the butcher. No, there's no butcher's mate. Gunner, gunner's mate. Um, what was the other one I was kind of half seas on? The um right. Charles Minor. Charles Minor didn't get picked up. So my guess is that this isn't him then. But we got Huh. We got what's his nuts who's missing an arm. And he's like, oh, where's my, where's my Frenchman? And then the only Frenchman aboard... Oops. The only Frenchman aboard... is Charles. Right? Charles. Well, let's take another pass here. England, Scotland, England, France... Yeah, 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 so what the hey-ho? How is that not... Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't consider, like, lots of body tattoos to be indicative of the French, but hey, what do I know? Um... So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, where's the memory with the dude who's missing an arm? Let's go examine that one real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't need to hear a dude toss his cookies again, thank you. Um, alright, dude missing an arm was in, what is it, the aft gallery, right? I think it was up one floor. Yeah, here we go. I think that's, is this after the bow? No, this is the bow again. Yeah, here he is. Bow, bow. Let me down, let me go. Easy now, you're in a bad way. The squid, where's my Frenchman? The squid's gone, your mate was torn apart. We know this is this dude, right? This one's already been locked in. So this is Alfred What's-His-Face, the Austrian, right? He's like, oh, where's my Frenchman? I figured, well, it's his mate, right? French, mate, etc. Is that bad logic? Doesn't feel like bad logic. But the game's telling me it's not, so... Uh, let's go back, then. So, this is apparently not Charles. Although, let's see, when did this take place? What was the timeline of this one? Oh, 
pot, 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 pot. Uh, how do I get back to the actual timeline of this? Um, well, first, bonk. Uh, Parish and Escape Part 1. Okay, so this was after all the weird crap started happening, so it could be anybody who got torn apart by a beast. So, where else? Probably not here, right? Probably not there. He was here. So let's assume that this is false, then. Charles Minor could be somebody else. But I'm pretty sure this guy got torn apart <laughs> by, by a beast. He ended up uh, losing a lot of weight very rapidly. Um, okay. All right, again, by an unknown attacker. This is the dude that ate a bullet from the other side, right? Yeah. We got that one locked already. This dude is locked, yeah? Yeah, okay. Is this one locked? No. James Waltz, this one was locked. Yeah, okay. Strangled by a terrible beast. Not torn apart. Here. This might be the Frenchman, yeah? He was torn apart by a terrible beast. Did he lose a leg? Oh, here. This is the dude that lost a leg. And his... his... uh... yeah. Alfred was there to see what happened. Alright, let's go to that one. <sighs> okay, let's go track that one down again. And that was the leg bones in the corner somewhere, right? Is that below decks again? No, it's like over this way, right? Where were those weird leg bones we found? Oh wait, no, it was down in the cargo hold, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all packed away next to some barrels or something. Like, oh, nobody will find these extra leg bones here. Yeah, there they were. Okay, that's, that's the surgeon, right? Or no. Yeah, that is the surgeon. Probably the surgeon's mate sitting there, right? Surgeon's mate, we got taken care of. Um, we gotta find where. Uh... Oh, this guy here, Alfred. Yeah, just going off of how that dude died, though, that doesn't seem enough to go on. He doesn't seem all too broken up about it here, so he's like, eh, I don't know, fuck it. Alright. Yep. Spiked, spiked, he wouldn't have cared about those, probably. And everybody was there for the execution. Hmm. Who else was torn apart? Did we identify? Just the dude in the tattoos, right? Or the dude missing a leg. So maybe it was, uh, well. 
you. This is Charles here. The other Charles. Get out of the way, I'm trying to get the corpse. Thank you. Okay. Maybe that's right. I guess we won't know until we nail two others, huh? this dude's story. No idea. Okay, he was the one getting tied up and... Oh, I see. Lazarette is the... Looks like the stern of the cargo hold. Okay, go take a, a, a poke down there. Let's see what's back there, huh? Oh, they're not gonna let me. That's the extent of this memory, huh? Okay. Hmm. What was the other deal with this? Hmm. Um. He was present here? Maybe he was. Where the fuck was he on that one? Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Okay, let's take a visit back to that one then. How the hell did we even get to that one? That was the one out at sea, sort of. Guessing it's somewhere up on deck. Yeah, it was one of these. Because this trio here. Just them. Oh, we know what happened to her. She got, um... Claude? Claude. I'm gonna guess that's Claude. Yeah. Uh... uh do we know enough about anybody else around here to say, like, oh yeah, they ate shit, or... We know that most of them got speared. Just don't know who they are. Keep rolling! Yeah. I don't know who they are though. Hmm. Yeah, I think one of these was already okay, yeah. He's already whoopsie. He's already been taken care of. We sorta of just identified her, yeah? And there's this dude here. Hmm. Right, he's the one that took it in the cheek. Other dude took it in the chest. This dude definitely died. There's no way he's coming back from that, right? Drowned, maybe? No. Part three. Oh, Hagen. You still breathing? Can you row? Probably not. Probably not. But he here's the dude that died, yeah?
But O'Hagan was out with them. Is this O'Hagan? Who's O'Hagan? Ah, Patrick O'Hagan. Strong Irishman. Apparently it wasn't enough. Okay, that's probably not him then. Uh, whoever else was out there. This guy? That's not O'Hagan. That's definitely not O'Hagan. That might have been O'Hagan? Hmm. Hard to say. But he didn't die. He didn't die immediately because this dude's like, Hey, man, you okay? He didn't respond, but he might not be dead. That's not a wagon. Oh, sir. Checked and loaded up a set. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the overdid. Shoot ya! Checked and loaded him myself. I, sir, checked and loaded him myself. Is that Irish? That's not Irish. I should know. I'm part Irish. But I don't know. This is the dude that took the spear in the chest because he died. Hmm. I shot it off. This is strange news. The monster. It's definitely not O'Hagan, though. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Which one of you idiots is next here? Can we just, uh... I wish we could just back up. Can we just hit Control Z and go back a memory here? Or do we have to redo the entire thing? Ugh, I gotta redo the entire thing. Alright, we'll take one more pass through it and call it a night. It's the only name mentioned there besides Idiot Nichols, right? Which we've already ID'd. Is, um, O'Hagan. We already knew her. We already knew him. Who the heck is this guy? Oh, that's, yeah. This is the dude that took it in the chest. Oops. That's definitely not O'Hagan. How many names we got to work with here? Slim, we're already good. Bang, we're already good. Looks like we've got a Russian aboard as well. Hmm. Yeah, here. Hey again, you still breathing? Alright, here's the dude that ate shit. Part three was talking to O'Hagan. He's ordering dumbass nickels to fire on him. Which he didn't, so that's his fault. Uh, so part three, part three, part three. Uh... Part run. No, I don't want to go backwards. Excuse me. Forwards. Forwards in time. Keep course due east. You've packed enough stores. 
Check them and load them myself. Yeah, good job. I'll get a medal. That's part six. Ahoy! Part six. Ahoy! Wait, don't get to part three here. Part five. All right, head in the right direction. That's gonna be part four, I think. Okay, good. Skip a part here. Part three. Here we go. All right. So whoever ate it here was talking to O'Hagan. O'Hagan, you're still breathing. Can you roll? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake. Dylan, Nichols, shoot them. This is O'Hagan. This Gomer pile-looking motherfucker. Is this O'Hagan? That can't be O'Hagan, right? Did he get strangled or something? Well, it's hard to tell what happened to this guy. Hmm. <clears throat> He's still breathing, blah blah blah. Nichols shoot them for God's sake. Alright, where the hell is Nichols in all this? He's in the other boat? Oh right, he's the, the big ass coward. Um, but who the hell is doing the yelling at Nichols here? Like how many people are alive to yell at Nichols? One? Two? Three maybe, but definitely the Formosan dude wasn't yelling at Nichols. It's whoever actually died in this scene was the one yelling at O'Hagan and Nichols, so not that guy? Must have been this guy, right? So here's the foremost dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely not doing the yelling. Maybe this dude. No. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have been yelling at uh, O'Hagan and Nichols. And what did he say? He said, uh, you still breathing? Can you row? Uh. Well. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know if he's in any shape to be rowing. That's definitely not O'Hagan, though. Like, that can't be. Can it be? Nah. Nah. Oops. No passenger. No. Hmm. <sighs> So maybe this was it. Maybe this was O'Hagan here. It's the only other dude who could have said that is this dude is about to go overboard. And he's yelling at dumbass Nichols to, to shoot. And it all sounded like it was kind of over in this general area anyways, because she's getting her throat torn out. So maybe this is O'Hagan. I'll have to come back through and confirm, anyways. Keep rowing! Where is it? There! Something there! I see it! Here's a weapon! Shoot! Mike and I! 
There's no way he would have been like, hey, dude who just took spear through his cheek and or throatal area, are you still breathing? Can you row? Like, uh And we didn't see this guy. Like, after this part, he was gone. So, uh... He probably drowned. Do we know who he is? No. Probably drowned. Which part of the, uh... Part 2? Okay, a dude who took the spear to the cheek here, saying, give us a weapon. Then he took it, and then whatever idiot face was left alive there was saying, oh yeah, can you row? Are you breathing? Can you row? It's like, no, he probably, he probably can't row. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% on this being uh, O'Hagan. For now, leave that one out. He is definitely dead. Like, he's been dead for two parts before they get to that, right? So there's no way that he's O'Hagan. I don't think that dude's O'Hagan either. Because he dies in what? The next part? He's the one... He might be the one yelling at O'Hagan, too, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've got enough mental acuity right now to identify O'Hagan amongst this mess, so... Uh, that will wait until another time, methinks. Why don't we head back to whatever reality this is and take stock and call it a night. Well, here. All right, here was the dude that got torn in half, yeah? Let's take a look at this. Yeah, you. I mean, it got a good strike on it. Look at that. That is... That is in deep. But, oof. Did not get the good end of that fight. I don't know what the heck they were thinking about this maneuver. Like, he's really gonna catch this? Like, that's a that's a solid 15 foot throw. Probably 20. In the rain. While the ship is being assailed by this giant kraken ass motherfucker. You think he's gonna catch that? I don't think he's gonna catch that. Whatever, we're not here for him. We're here for a dude that got torn in half. Which we thought was Charles, right? Originally. Because he was the one that got torn apart, and our Austrian friend Alfred was like, Hey, where's my Frenchman? But no, that's not him, apparently. I don't know if any of these other ones are going to be easy enough to ID right now. Although once we get, let's see, where's the last one? That's, it's between this guy and this guy, I think, here, right? 
are the two remaining first through fourth mates, right? There's first mate. Got him on lock. Cap's on lock. Nichols is on lock. It's just between these two for third and fourth, really. And I think this dude ate it to uh, this dude, right? Hmm. All right, well, no need to to ponder this any further right now, I think. We will call getting nine more tonight a pretty good haul. And leave the rest for another time. Okay, so I guess from here on out it's going to be deductions and, and guesswork. <laughs> Since that was all of the memories we could see, yeah? Oh boy. Alright, well... We'll pick this up again on Wednesday, methinks. Wednesday, 7pm CST. We'll be back here with Return of the Oberdin for some more logic puzzles. These puzzling puzzles are cool and good and fun. Uh, Thursday night, 7.30pm CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. Um, Parsec 47 for the first quarter of 2021, and then... What's our monthly? Uh, what did we play last week? <laughs> um... I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what the monthly is for January, but I don't think we'll be playing it since we played it last week. But anyways, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST. Shmup Book Club. Saturday! Question mark, p.m. CST. Um, grab bag, grab bag. We'll pick up some, pick up some, and then Sunday night, 7 p.m. CST. Uh, Sunday long play, almost certainly gonna be Noida again, cause why not? Let's just keep our hooks in that one, and uh, and play it to completion until we can, right? Uh, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye bye.